Faltan eso al desboot.
so we were doing the anthem room okay so let's continue let's just deploy it it started uh, working on this room yesterday so let's just continue it. Let's just, um, just give it a couple more minutes because you know we saw yesterday that it's a Windows system, so the Windows machines take more time to boot properly as compared to Linux. You don't have to install anything here. Okay, uh, just to create an account on a website. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, so all you need to do is create an account go to access okay then you download your configuration file from there and to run that file all you have to do is uh, i'll type it in chat just type this command sudo open vpn and file name
So when you run that file, when you run this command, you see that it does this whole process, tries to connect to this server, uh, sorry, not server, to their network via OpenVPN. And when the connection is complete, you'll see this initialization sequence completed. That means you're connected to that network. And when you check your IP, you'll see that there is another interface that has been added, tunnel zero. And the IP address here is your IP on the TriHackMe network. Okay. Now, let's uh, move forward with this CTF. So this is the IP for our target system. Let's copy it and let's run a quick nmap scan first. Okay, so this can tells us that there are two ports open, port 80 and port 3389. So port 80 is for a web server, but what is Okay, no one is aware of what 3389 stands for, or not stands for, I mean what service that port is used for. RDP, yes. RDP is a remote desktop protocol. Like you have uh, SSH and VNC or Linux systems, Windows usually has RDP service running. This allows you to remotely access a Windows system but of course, just like in SSH, you need the credentials for it. You need a username and a password of an account on that system. And if you have that, then you can use RDP to access that system. And uh, it provides you complete, you know, GUI access to the system. So for now, since we just have these two ports, we don't have any credentials. We can forget about RDP for the moment. So I'm going to try and check if there are other ports open. It doesn't seem like that would be the case, but there's a possibility. And uh, let's come back to the other. Let's see if an aggressive scan gives us anything here.
understand is that they So this tells us the host name for the system and uh, nothing much which we can use at this point. So let's try opening the uh, IP address. Let's try going to the IP address in the browser. Let's see what we get. If we come to a website known as anthem.com then we access the IP so this is the web server that we saw on port 80 so what is the first thing we should check here a source code for any comment or maybe robots.txt robots.txt let's check that we look at the source code as well later on First, let's start with robots.txt. Okay, so it does exist for this particular, you know, site. And uh, let's see what we have here. So there is something written here. Umbreco is the best. Okay, we don't really know what that is for the moment. But let's try visiting the other URLs that are present here. So first is bin. Let's see. It's not taking us anywhere. Config. Okay, config just brings us back to the home page then there's something known as umbreco All right Right, so this apparently is a login page, and uh, so we don't currently have any credentials at all. The most we can do here is try some defaults. If those work, then fine. Otherwise, now it says login failed for user admin. Now, at this point, it's not clear whether. It's telling us that this is a user that does exist or whether the username is incorrect as well. So let's just try putting anything random and see what happens. Okay, so it's not really giving us a clear message whether it's a valid username or not. So, okay, let's just uh, leave this for now. Coming back to what else we had here. Umbreco underscore client. Okay, let's try going to that. Again, this brings us back to the website as well. So basically uh, looking at the robots.txt file did not uh, you know really give us a lot of information i mean we saw one login page but that's it
okay now on try hack me there are uh, two different kinds of rules walk throughs and challenges in walk throughs uh, you know the creator of the room kind of guides you through solving that and in challenges uh, you have to do everything yourself so anthem is kind of a walk through room so if you want you can take a look at how the room owner has you know guided you throughout the room so the first thing we say is let's run an map and check what ports are open we've done that what port is for the web server ap what as for remote desktop protocol that is 3389 what is the possible password in one of the pages web crawlers check for so what could this be um maybe the password is in robots.txt allowed section like the pages that crawler can uh, is allowed to check let's see is there anything here that might um, umbra ko is the best maybe i don't know maybe maybe you don't you see we don't really know anything for sure unless you try it. so this could be the case okay it could be a possible password for uh some account i don't know because if it's there if it's mentioned in the file it must be here for a reason right you don't just put random values anywhere it it must have some use it might be a password we don't know yet but you know we can just consider it as a possible password and when uh, we go forward we maybe need to log in somewhere then we'll consider it So this is a possible password in one of the pages web crawlers get for. Now robots dot txt is a page that web crawlers definitely check for. Then it says, what CMS is the website using? So what CMS is being used on the website? Okay, before that, uh, is everyone familiar with what a, what a CMS is? Yes. Okay. So basically. if you're not familiar with the term cms cms is a content management system so it's basically you could say it's uh, serves as the back end for a website and it allows you to manage the content of the website so it makes that stuff easier for you so we see in wordpress previously in previous video wordpress is a cms now wordpress is one of the more popular cmss out there so something like uh, what we have in this case we have umbreco that is the cms here okay, if you search for umbreco you'll find out that it is an open source content management system or a cms okay that's what it says here as well the flexible open source .net cms So Umbreco is a CMS that has been used for creating this website. So it's sort of a backbone for your website that allows you to easily manage your website, manage the content of your website. So in this case, Umbreco is your CMS. Now, what is the domain of the website? anthem.com anthem.com correct that is the domain you can see it in the page title as well and it's written here anthem.com 
okay what is the name of the administrator right for this we need to look at the website okay so here i can see that there are two posts we are hiring and it tears to our it department okay, so let's look at each of these in turn so this one says hi fellow readers we are currently hiring we are looking for young talented to join a good cause and keep this community alive if you have an interest in being a part of the movement send me your cv at dairy@anthem.com Uh, how can we decide? How can we decide the CMS? Okay, so no, see, CMS is uh, when you browse through a website, you will find details that point you towards what CMS is being used. For example, in this case, the website has a lot of references to Umbreco. We even found a login page, which would probably take us to the admin panel for that particular website. So when you browse through the website, when you look through it. you will be able to see what cms is being used like for wordpress it is uh, you know wordpress makes makes it very easy to figure out not all websites not all cmss do that but if you look carefully you will be able to figure out what cms is being used wapalizer will also help that is correct Okay, so this post is uh, it does not mention anything related to the admin, right? I just said if you're interested in being a part of the movement, send me your CV at jd at the rate anthem dot com. The author is Jane Doe. Okay, so no mention of the administrator. We don't now. Uh, this post is a cheers to our IT department. It says. During our hard times, our beloved admin managed to save our business by redesigning the entire website. As we all around here know how much I love writing poems, I decided to write one about him. Okay, so this is a poem about the admin. All right, let's see. So this is a poem, and it is a poem about the admin for the website. so it says born on a monday christened on tuesday married on wednesday and so on and so forth so has anyone seen this poem before is anyone uh, familiar with it no 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 one at all okay this is basically an old poem based on a fictional like related to a fictional character and uh, if you are a batman fan you might have heard of this as well cuz it's used there as well now if i have completely no idea about what this is what can i do how do i figure out who's the admin now i've never come across if i've never come across this sort of thing before if i don't know what poem this is google the poem exactly just do a google search and you'll find something you don't even have to do the whole thing just maybe search for a couple of lines see google is the best tool that you have at your disposal as a penetration tester all right so it's also a song by some band and the name of the song is solomon grundy okay and if you scroll down you'll see it's also a nursery rhyme okay so it's basically is just a fictional character and this is a poem related to that character so if this says that uh, 
this is a poem about the admin so what would be the name of the admin then it would be the name that we found on google like solomon whatever the name was yeah yeah so that is the name of the administrator solomon grandy <clears throat> can we find the email address of the administrator can we find that is there any way to figure out what the email address for the administrator might be okay, first let's look through this post as there any email address mentioned here no And in the other post, is there any email mentioned here? JD at anthem dot com. So this is an email that is mentioned in this post. This is this the email of the admin? Uh, I don't think so because it's maybe Jane Doe uh, email ID and he's the author of the blog. I don't know. He, he's not the admin. Yeah, it's not the admin, right? <clears throat> so this uh, this post has been written by this uh, Jane Doe person, and their email is jdadrenamhindu.com. So based on this, can we figure out the email address for the administrator? Yes, sir. Sg at the rate anthem dot com. Sg at the rate anthem dot com because email addresses in Solomon Grand Solomon. Yeah, Solomon Grandy. So it will take the initials just like in this case. The email addresses for companies. Oh, they follow the same format for everyone. Yes. So sg at the rate anthem dot com is the email ID for this sites admin. Okay, so now we have found a few things. We figured out a few things about this website. And the next thing is our beloved admin left some flags behind that we require to gather before we proceed to the next task. Actually, before we proceed to the next task, you don't need any flags. But since we are solving this, let's find, try to figure out where the flags might be as well. So it says there are a Few flags hidden on this website. So where should we look? We've already seen the two posts that are here. Uh, we can search in uh, source code for any comment. Maybe we can find something there. Okay, let's do that. Uh, okay, new page source. Do you see anything? Here, Uh, yes, sir. There's uh, there's something in uh, meta content with OJ description like there's something th uh, thm. I like, that's also something right? unusual. Yeah. So this is a flag. This is one flag, right? So there are four flags here total. Uh, four flags on the website. So one we have already found out. Okay. Let's uh, go back to the home page. Let's see if we can figure out anything there. Can we see anything here? <clears throat> uh, 
yes uh, the input uh, type text ho- placeholder thm get good the placeholder for the search bar thm get good this is another flag Let's search here. Again in meta. THM another meta. Yeah. This is the third flag. Okay. So, but now we have looked through this entire website. It's a very small website anyway. There's not a lot of stuff. So, what have we missed? However, there must be something we missed because there are a total of four flags and we found three. maybe we can look in that login page or maybe in this category and tag section we haven't uh, like visited that as well okay let's see categories okay, there are no categories if you come to the source code as well it's uh, nothing just this flag but, but this is on every page which has yeah. your search bar nothing here same goes for tags it's a blank page and again nothing in this one as well so if you look carefully at this page you see that yeah we have this profile of jane though yes, maybe we can also a link yeah if you can go here okay this is the fourth flag and this is also a link but this is just going to take you back to the home page so this is your fourth flag and flag one two three four we found all of them Okay, so now we move on to actually you know, getting access to the system. And okay, 